Hi, and welcome to our devotion for this morning. We're going to be looking at just one verse uh, from Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 5. And then what we're going to do is we're going to apply that verse to uh, some of the people that we have encountered in some of the past devotions I've done, uh, looking at some of the kings and the nation of Judah before the Lord brought judgment upon them through the Babylonian Empire. And I, I think you're going to find that you can relate to this from your own life. So we read in verse 5 of Jeremiah 2, this is what the Lord says, What fault did your ancestors find in me that they strayed so far from me? They followed worthless idols and became worthless themselves. It's a really profound passage. The Lord is saying that they have forgotten him and they've walked away from him. And do you hear how personal that is to the Lord? What fault did you find in me? That you would wander away and that you would not only just wander away, but you would embrace false gods and false idols. An idol is anything that we love more than we love God. An idol is anything that we're more passionate about than we are our relationship with the Lord. I want you to think about uh, various idols in, in your own life as you think about this question. Faith means you want to want God more than you want anything else. Idols move us away from faith because we find that there are other things that we actually want more than God. So the way that I try to identify idols in my own life is I ask myself these questions. What I want in life more than God is fill in the blank. I know that I'm worthwhile, that I'm secure, that I have a meaningful life because fill in the blank. Those are idols. If it's not the Lord, I would be willing to compromise my faith if fill in the blank. That's an idol. I would be worthwhile, secure, and have a meaningful life when fill in the blank. We all struggle with idols. It wasn't just the people back at the time of Jeremiah. When we think of idols, we often think of crafting something made of, of uh, wood or metal, and we fall down and worship that. That's not what we do today. What we do today is we worship things like power, significance, relationships, maybe certain people in our lives that are important to us. We worship comfort and security and money and status and fame. These are the things that we we tend to worship in our in our world today. And so I want to just briefly mention and some of the people that we've met over the past weeks in my devotions how what their idol was that led to problems in their life. First was King Hezekiah. Hezekiah began with a wonderful reign and uh, did a lot of courageous things. But his idol was personal peace and security. He was willing to compromise God's commands and God's best in order to obtain more security and more comfort in this world. A uh, second one was Manasseh. He had no interest in following God. He wanted to follow any philosophy that he believed would get him ahead in this world. That was his idol. Josiah, Josiah wanted to love God, wanted to follow the Lord, and he sacrificed everything to live out that definition of faith that he loved God and was more committed to God than to anything else. The crowds, the crowds went through the motions of faith, but their hearts were far from God. And sometimes we, we're more concerned about what other people think about us how other people perceive us, then we are about our, the integrity of our walk with God, about what's really true about us. And then finally, Zedekiah. He was only willing to listen to teaching that made him comfortable. If there was teaching that was challenging to him, he didn't like it. His God was to be comfortable and to feel good about himself. And so when God brought the word of the Lord uh, through the prophets to Zedekiah, he rejected it because if it wasn't consistent with what he wanted to hear for himself, if it, if it caused him to have to look at his life and change, then he wasn't interested in listening to that. Friends, here's the challenge for today. What might God say to you today about the idols in your life? 
What might God say to you today about things that you are loving more than you love him or things that you're pursuing with more passion than you're pursuing him? Let me, let me close with this passage again before I pray. This is what the Lord says. What fault did your ancestors find in me that they strayed so far from me? They followed worthless idols and became worthless themselves. Friends, our identity can only be rooted in the Lord. When our identity is rooted in anything else, anything else, then what happens is we become worthless. The very thing we don't want, we become. So let's choose today to deal with our idols, to confront our idols, to confess them to the Lord, and to ask him for strength to live in a new way. Would you pray with me? Our Father, we thank you for the amazing truth, Lord, that um, you are the God who is always faithful. Lord, we can relate to this. Lord, what fault did we find in you that we would stray so far from you? Lord, we confess that we often look to the things of our world, to money, to possessions, to power, to authority, to significance in our world, to relationships, to comfort, to security. And Lord, these are the things that we love more than we love you. So we're willing to compromise your commands in order to achieve them. Father, forgive us for that. And help us to live in a new way that honors you. Strengthen us, Lord. Give us courage to face what is true about ourselves. And Lord, give us the power to become something new for the sake of your glory. Amen. God bless you and have a great day.